how many grams of potassium chloride decompose to form potassium chloride and 250 milliliter of oxygen at 400 Kelvin and uh, 0 0.85 atmosphere. So this is a uh, gas stoichiometry problem um, in order to find out the grams of potassium chloride. First, we need to find out the moles of potassium chloride. Okay, in order to find out the moles of potassium chloride, we will need the number of moles of oxygen. All right, so of oxygen. The number of oxygen moles, the number of moles of oxygen is not given, but let's see what are given. Uh, you could not see for oxygen. So 250, that's milliliter, that's volume. And now we have temperature, we have pressure. All right, so from the key equation of ideal gas law, PV equals nRT, we should be able to write down the number of moles for oxygen, PV, we keep key PV on the side, then move the RT also to the other side, as denominator. So now we have all of the information we need to calculate the number of moles. All right, so we already have pressure, volume, only we need to convert the volume to liters, and then the temperature, gas, R is a gas constant, that should be always given. Pressure, 0 0.850 atmosphere, times volume, convert the 250 milliliter to liters, and then divide by the constant R, 0 0.082, make sure you use the correct units right here, then times temperature, which is uh, 400 K. So now we get uh, 0 0.0064786 moles of oxygen. I underline uh, the digit 7, so because that's the last digit in the significant figure. You see from the question, there are three seed fields because there is a decimal point right there. Okay, three significant figures, so therefore that's the first, second, and that's the third. So I underline that. Now we are ready to carry out the stoichiometry uh, calculation to find out the number of grams of uh, potassium chloride. You see, we already know the number of moles of oxygen, number of moles of oxygen. Then we will convert that to number of moles of potassium chloride. And then further from moles of potassium chloride to grams of potassium chloride. So that's the plan. Okay, let's get started. So we start from the number of moles of oxygen, and then first step, remember, doing the stoichiometry, convert the number of moles of oxygen to the number of moles of potassium chloride using the coefficient in the conversion, converting from, from uh, moles of oxygen to that on bottom, converting to, to the moles of potassium chloride, so then moles of oxygen can be cancelled. Now we get the number of moles of 
potassium chloride, but what we are asked is to find out the uh, number of grams. Then the next step is convert from moles of potassium chloride to grams using the molar mass of potassium chloride. All right. Uh, now we get an answer. Again, I underline the third digit or the, also the last digit uh, in the significant figure. So now after the roundup, so we'll end up with uh, 0 0.529 grams potassium chloride. Okay. So it means it would need 0 0.259 grams of potassium chloride to form or to generate 250 milliliter of oxygen.